We're gonna make somebody very happy in this video. All of my sponsors have come together to build a replica dirt jump bike like the one I ride. Yes. Oh! Complete it, put it up for a giveaway where you can email in and enter, and ultimately someone is gonna win that bike in this video, and I'm gonna deliver it to them. So Marin, first sponsor on the list, has given me the latest Marin Alcatraz frame. There's some of the previous ones and the current one on the wall there. This has already got the brake routed through the down tube. It's got really nice internal cable routing, so I thought I'd do that the other day. So I have made a start. Disclaimer, by the way, I'm very ill. <laughs> you can tell from my husky voice. Now, until recently, I'd never heard of these, and I imagine not loads of you guys have. These have kind of trumped Cane Creek. So all my jump bikes, I run the Cane Creek E-Wings cranks, which are titanium. Now, this company, 5Dev, have come to market with another titanium crank. Very high security packaging. That is their crank arm. Unbelievably lightweight because they've machined out loads and loads of titanium, yet they're unbelievably strong. They're bespoke and available in loads of different crank arm lengths. Very, very premium. And I also think they cost in the region of 1,500 pounds, which means that for the giveaway bike, it's gonna be one of the most valuable jump bikes. So absolute black, do an eight bolt fitment. We. Lovely. They do that in titanium colour, which up against actual titanium is very cool. Every time. How good's that? Probably the craziest crank chain ring arrangement I've ever had. Well, I've never had it. Someone else is going to have it. I might get them myself. They're pretty epic. I like them a lot. Olin's is up next. Olin's are piled in on this amazing giveaway with their M2 fork, which is lowered to 90 mil of travel. It's a 650B lower. So to get the same axle to crown length, you have to drop the travel length to 90 mil, whereas most jump forks are 100. Although I think that's changing because no one's really making 26 stuff anymore. This fork's insane. It's so factory race. It's everything, isn't it? Being a replica, we've got a gusset cockpit, the gusset S2 bar and S2 stem. 35 mil clamp, super stiff. They come 800 mil wide. I'll cut them down. I don't know the, should I cut them down if I don't no. know who's gonna ride it? No one's gonna no. run them 800 wide. Just leave them. Leave them, leave okay, them. you will be riding, you won't even be able to get between two trees. <laughs> I run mine insanely narrow, like 725, which anyone who rides my bike detests. They say, what are you doing? I mean, they're really cool and the stem's 33 mil long, which is very short. I'm so ill, hang on. I'll fit this. The brake is a Shimano XT one. There's the caliper. Four pistons for superior pump track stoppage and dirt jump deceleration. And a very, very nice lever to match. It's all kind of color match with the titanium. The wheels are exciting too. Let's build this. That's the noise you want on your bike. The Halo Super Drive Hub, 120 points of engagement. It actually is louder when you put it on the bike. I think the sound resonates through the frame. They also, Halo. I say they, Halo, who have actually, it was Halo, Halo and Gusset's idea to do this entire thing. So that's really cool. Halo also make titanium bolts for their wheels, which are half the weight of the steel ones that it comes with. I'll put the wheels on now. Oh, tires. The other cool thing is, I run the Halo, uh, sorry. <clears throat> I run the Goodyear Wingfoot tires, which myself and Sam Pilgrim helped design. We went to Taiwan and made the first, in fact, that one hanging up there, is the first ever wing foot tyre off the production line, which I made myself on a machine, which is well exciting. Cool story, Matt. <laughs> but these two, the skate park one, the park, and the dirt one, I'm going to put on, which I have on my bikes. But they're not actually available yet to buy, so these are the last ones I own that are going on this bike. So whoever wins this will be rolling in a skate park or on dirt jumps or both. I'm the only publicly owned pair of wing foot tyres, other than myself. P Sam Pilgrim. Jamie's got one on this bike. Jamie's got one. Have you got one? No, I don't. Know. No, I oh know. I don't yeah, either. I'd, no. I'd be surprised if he did. Yeah. Because I'd be like, thief. <laughs> my signature gusset S2 saddle, literally with my signature. Pretty stoked on this thing, which matches the grips with the old marble swirl effect. I am going to desanitize this bike before it gets delivered, by the way. <laughs> Do you mean sanitize it? Yeah, I do. It's yeah. currently being. <laughs> that, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Cool. All this time I've been buying desanitizing spray. No wonder I'm getting ill. <laughs> this has been built with love. There we go. 
Someone's going to win this. Did you know Jamie? Jamie's just arrived. No We're clue. building this to give it away. Oh, very nice. I'm a very lucky person. Are, are you yeah. going to enter the raffle, mate? Might have to. I don't think it's a raffle, is it? It's just an email competition. You don't even have to do anything. You might as well just put your email in. Yeah, I'll do it. It'll be funny if you won it. Yeah, good stuff. People would think it was rigged. I'll give it to someone else if I won it. Yeah, right, mate. That's not what you said five minutes ago. Oh, sorry. No, what did he say? He said he'd sell it on eBay for profit. <laughs> yeah, no, Matt, that's not what... That's not what this, this isn't for you, mate. Cut! I've just looked at these grips, and the guys at Gusset have already cut the flange off of one of them. Look, they've come with a flange, which is a true replica, because I run the flange to protect my hand from the brake lever, but no flange on the other side, so you'll be getting no flange on one side. I did actually put a left hand lever on it because I thought it's more like oh no there's so many people in Europe and America that run it on the right mm. I don't know who's where people are going to enter from I guess we could change it I mean who puts that back empty you no definitely you Jamie uses this all the time <laughs> he uses it to make fires <laughs> to make what fires <laughs> I thought it's only a proper replica if I build it because then it's got all of the little errors you know along the way <laughs> Ice and Distribution is the home of Halo wheels and gusset components, right? And I'm going to take it to those guys. Actually, I think they're now dealing with 5Dev in the UK, which is cool. And let them do like a full, is it called a PDI? Like a yes. check on the bike, yeah, yeah. do a bolt check. I actually think it's almost done, I just need to do the pedals. I might wrap up, no one needs to watch me build any more of this bike. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? They're very nice, they're just really stealth looking. That's really cool. So I'll put those off. I'm going to take them to Ison. And then those off. Did I say off? Yes. I'll take them off the box and put them in the bike. <laughs> And then we'll photograph it, put it on Instagram, start the giveaway. So yeah, I'll see you when we do that process shortly. Almost 12,000 entries into the competition after I finished building the bike. It's been insane. So many people have entered this thing, but there can only be one winner. And we did a random selection from all the email addresses and all the names that were put in. And the name that came up, I think this is how you pronounce it, was Fira Corrigan. And he's from Ireland. So in there is the bike and I'm off to Ireland to hand deliver it to him. But here's a shot of yesterday when I messaged him directly, found him on Instagram and told him he'd won. Right, so I've just messaged him. I'm trying to figure out where he's from. So I've said, hey mate, how are you? He put, good, how are you? Great, thanks. Where do you ride? In Cork, Ireland. I've never been to Ireland. I've been to Northern Ireland, but not the bit below it. So Ireland's doable. Looks like we've got a trip to Ireland. He put, how about you? I just put, sick, is it fun? Sometimes we go to a bike park on the Cork Limerick border, Ballyhaura, Ballyora, Ballyhaura. Let's put this guy out of his misery because he's being really polite. But do you remember entering my signature bike giveaway? This is probably where he goes and has dinner and doesn't reply. <laughs> Seen? Typing? Yeah. Well, dot, 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 dot. I'll put you one. I'm just going to put, and I'm going to put a trophy and a bike. Send. <laughs> Sick. I'm well excited. Wait, what? Really? Are you being serious? <laughs> I'm buzzing to do this. This is going to be so fun. I'm at Heathrow Terminal 2, about to fly to Cork, which is about an hour and a half flight. Then I'm going to hire a car, and he's given me an address that's about half an hour from the airport. So this thing, in about five hours, is going to be in the hands of a very, very lucky lad. And I can't wait to see what he does on it. Just hope the bike arrives. See ya. <laughs> Made it to Ireland. First ever time here, feet on the ground. So about 45 minutes away now from delivering this bike. My biggest fear here is if the bike doesn't arrive. I've done, that's my 17th flight this year so far. And on three of them, my bike hasn't arrived. So I'm nervous that this whole exercise is for nothing if the bike doesn't come. Oh, ho, ho. We're in business. What have we got then for the Irish road trip? I actually don't know what that is. Anyone know what that is? A Sangyong Tivoli. It's a cross between Asian and Italian. All the mod cons. Plays a song when you get in with some disco lights. I've messaged a lad on Instagram to let him know I've arrived safe and sound in Cork Island, his home country. So that's exciting. He's buzzing. I think a mate or a couple of his mates are going to come and meet me as well. Um, so he knows the ETA. And I've got the box in. I think I might build the bike. It's not very cool to be given a box, is it? A duct taped up box. I think I'm gonna pull over and build the bike and then arrive. Yeah, let's arrive with an actual bike built up. No one wants to receive a box. One of my Allen keys has escaped, which doesn't bode well, does it? 
for building the bike. You can definitely smell that most people use this lay-by to go to the toilet and now I've got it on my leg. Well, my six mil Allen key's fallen out of the box on the way, so I can't put the pedals on until we meet him. But look at that, it's gorgeous. I'm one minute away. I'm actually quite nervous. The island's very pretty, it's very green. It must get a lot of rain here. I'm here. There's two lads. Hey mate, I'm Matt. What's your name? Okay. What's your name? Harley. Nice to meet you boys. Do you want to see your new jump bike? Yeah. Let's do it right over here. Have you got a six mil Allen key? I, I, I will need it to put the pedal. Oh, good lad. Just to put the pedals on, because I lost mine. Fell out on the planes. <laughs> Come on, boys. Here you go. There she is. What do you reckon to those cranks? Glass. <laughs> Glass. Yeah. Pure titanium CNC. They're amazing. It's like literally a replica of mine, bro. It's really good. Yeah. Right. Should we put the pedals on so you can ride it? <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna build dirt jumps now? I have some in my garden. Sick. Good lad. Backyard build. Yeah. Like there's a digger and my dad's letting me use it to build jumps. So. Really? Did you tell your friends you won this? Yeah, him. <laughs> he was the first person. Yeah, it was do. sick. When I messaged you, you were replying straight away. So it was like a live chat, which was cool for me. I was like actually getting a reaction from you. Right, there you go. I haven't cut the bars down either. We decided to leave them pretty wide. Yeah, it's... It feels yeah. weird as one brake though. True. Do you run your rear brake on the left or right in Ireland? Right. Oh, right. I didn't know, I didn't know who would win it in what part of the world. So you'll eventually yeah. flip that over, I guess. Uh, yeah. Or not, it's only one, it doesn't matter it's what side one, it's on. So, yeah. It doesn't matter. Such a good feeling. <laughs> Has he been excited? Yeah. He's like really excited about it. Yeah. Ever since you messaged him yeah. about it. There was over 10,000 people that entered, dude. 10,000? Yeah, yeah. And I just <laughs> randomly, it was on an Excel spreadsheet, just randomly chose a number. Your email address came up. I tried to find you on Instagram, found you. Yeah. Saw that you ride, messaged you, you replied. Yes, was that yesterday or two days ago? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, now you've got the bike. I booked yeah. the flights yesterday. Here we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. Good to meet you. Legend, cheers nice for coming along. You. See you later, guys. Bye. They're so excited, bless them. On camera, they're quite shy, but as soon as I stopped the camera and sort of said cheerio, they were like, like, so overwhelmed i'm really happy it went to a nice polite young man who's going to really enjoy it yeah more giveaways soon legends